find the greatest common divisor of 16 and 30. This is also called the greatest common factor. And the reason is, the way you do it is you write down the 16, and then you just write down all the factors of 16, or the divisors of 16, so the numbers that go into 16 evenly. So 1 is always a factor or divisor of a number, always. Um, 2 goes into 16, right, because 2 times 8 is uh, 16. 3 doesn't work, 4 doesn't work, uh, 5, 6, 7 don't work, 8 works, because 8 times 2 is 16, and then the last one would be 16. So these are the factors of 16, or the divisors of 16. Now let's look at the same thing for 30. For 30, we have 1, 2, 3, right, 3 works because uh, 3 times 10 is 30. 4 doesn't work. Uh, 5 should work because 5 times 6 is 30. Likewise, 6 works. 7, 8, and 9 don't work. 10 will work. And I think the next one that will work is uh, 15. And then after that, that's pretty much it. We're left with 30. So if we look at this list, um, the greatest common factor, the factor that they have in common that's as big as possible, is 2. This is also called the greatest common divisor. So the answer is 2. This is the greatest common factor or the greatest common divisor of 16 and 30. And you can kind of look at it and just you know think about it without having to make a list. I just wanted to do a problem where you know I go through and I make the list, and you see that it is actually the greatest one they have in common. Hence the name common factor or common divisor. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.